see a man who's in love with baseball. His passion for the sport and his ability to be able to transform observed reality into this amazing sport of action. Beyond that, he's able to actually capture the character and personality of the players that he is painting. I want the viewer to, to see that they're, that they're looking at a painting, that they're looking at some, something that somebody has created, you know, from their own psyche and from their perspective. And I do that by enhancing color, lively brushwork and things of that nature. Or a lot of the work that I, I do is combining photographs, so I'm not copying somebody else's work, which is basically what I have to rely on because um, most, uh, of, most of my subject is either are either dead or they are they are past their prime and nobody wants to look at an old player. I try to to take a number of photographs, cut bodies and heads and backgrounds and stands and signage and all that and create up my own image. He is able to do that because he understands the sport so well and he knows the players really, really well. And each painting for me becomes this magnificent narrative holds its own as a story. What I like to do with my work is to, is to make it more than just a picture of the ball player. What I want to do is show the game, the ball player in the environment of the game, which includes a ballet, which includes all those things that, that uh, athleticism uh, demands uh, for running and jumping and leaping and catching and throwing and batting. So, so all my paintings are filled with that and they're more narrative in nature as opposed to portrait in nature. Although I do those too, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the game's ballet that I'm interested in. What I try to do in this exhibit uh, is to show a timeline of the game and to show that uh, uh, we have such an evolution in the game visually so that they, the game produces a, a tremendous source of visual information. All right, and there he is yet again, the legendary Dick Perez. And as you guessed, we have ourselves some Diamond Kings returns. Let's say we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven returns. This is awesome. Always enjoy the Diamond Kings. I uh, hope everyone enjoys it as well. Hope you like that little intro there. I thought it was pretty cool uh, on the legendary artist uh, uh, himself. All righty. So first up, out of Phoenix, Arizona, 4 of 4, no fee, 10 days. Former All-Star and AL strikeout leader, 1982. He's also the father of former Met and Royals player, Brian Bannister. And you can probably guess he is. Mr. Floyd Bannister. There he is on the 84 tops. On the 85 tops. I'm going to try and get as many 85s as I can. Donruss, Flair, and Tops. So I've started working on that. I'm definitely not putting together this set. <laughs> That's not happening. Kudos to you guys. You know, Brandon, Media Marauder. Uh, that would drive me nuts trying to get the uh, all the cards. And there's the 85 tops. Number one draft pick. And finally, the Diamond King. I think this is 82, if I'm not mistaken. 82 or 83? Actually, 83. That's 83. Donruss Diamond Kings. Alrighty. Great signature. Thank you so much, Mr. Bannister. Appreciate it. Our next Diamond King comes to us from North Texas, Texas. 3 of 3, free, 20 days. He is a former four time All Star. Texas Rangers Hall of Famer, and he also served as first base coach for then Rangers manager Bobby Valentine in 1989 through 1991. And he is Mr. Toby Hera. There he is. The Indians. Guardians, 1983 Tops, 83 Flair. And on the 83. 
Diamond Kings. Toby Hera, very cool. Great stash, thank you Mr. Hera, much appreciated. All right, our next DK comes to us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it was a one of one, $5 fee, 20 days. Former All-Star in 1982, two-time World Series champ with the Twins. And he's also a member of the Twins Hall of Fame. And here he is on the 1983 Don Russ Diamond King, Mr. Kent Herbeck. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Herbeck. And they're all 1983 Don Russ already. So next up, our next Diamond King comes to us from Phoenix, Arizona. This was a two of two, $5 per nine days. A two-time All-Star, World Series champ in 85 with the Royals. And is a former Gold Glove winner and AL batting champ. He is also a Royals Hall of Famer. He is Mr. Willie Wilson. There he is on the 81 Flair. And there he is on the Donner's Diamond Kings. Um, that's also 1983. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. All right, next up. Out of West Palm Beach, Florida, one of one, 16 days, $5 fee. Former four-time All-Star. He was also a former Met. He was a World Series champ with the Twins. He was the NL Saves leader and a Royal Aids Relief Man of the Year winner in 1985. And he is Mr. Jeff Raritan. There he is on the 86 Leaf Canadian Greats. This was part of the Leaf set. They only had this part. This wasn't part of the Donra set, so only did it for Leaf. So we'll count that. Boom. Thank you, Miss Press. And our next Diamond King, this one comes to us from Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, three of three. I sent a $10 donation, 11 days. This is a former Met who finished third in NL MVP voting behind Kurt Gibson and teammate Daryl Strawberry back in 1988. An underrated outfielder from Arkansas. He was also a Razorback. He is Mr. Kevin McReynolds. There's his rookie card, the 84 Flair. There he is on the 87 Donruss, Diamond King. And his rated rookie, 1984 Donruss. Oh, came out great. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. McReynolds. Much appreciated. All right, next up. This one's out of Tampa, Florida. Two of two. I sent a $3 donation per 11 days. This former Mariner was an All-Star in 1985, a career that spanned eight years with one year played in Japan. And he is Mr. Phil Bradley. There he is on the 85 Tops. There he is on the 86 Donruss, Diamond King. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Bradley. All right, next up. Let's keep this moving along. This is out of Kansas City, Mo. This was a one of two. He's $5 per. And this was 11 days. This was a former All-Star in 1984. World Series champion, AC, ALCS MVP in 1983. He's also a member of the Orioles Hall of Fame. He is Mr. Mike Boddicker on the 86 Donors Diamond Kings. He, I get he's five dollars per. I sent five and two cards in. He didn't sign that one, so I'll have to send it back out. Get the 85s autographed. Still awesome to get the. I'm glad he signed the Diamond King. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Mr. Boddicker. Appreciate it. All right, next up, this next one is from North Houston, Texas. Three of three, 19 days. He does sign for free. I sent a $10 donation. He's a five-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner, three-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and a member of the Brewers Hall of Fame. There he is, Mr. Cecil Cooper on the 77 Tops. There he is on the Upper Deck, 2004 Upper Deck Timeless Teams set. These cards look great, so I have a few of these. Let's see if I can get some more. And there he is also on the 86 Donruss, Diamond King. Very cool. 
Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Much appreciated. All right. Next up, this one's out of Miami, Florida. One of one, $10 fee, 20 days. 2010 Hall of Fame inductee, eight-time All-Star, NL MVP in 87, NL Rookie of the Year winner in 77, eight-time Gold Glove winner. I'm sure you know who this gentleman is. There he is, Mr. Andre Dawson on the 86 Donors Diamond Kings. That's an awesome signature. Very awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Dawson. Appreciate it. All right, and lastly, out of to Tulsa, Oklahoma, a 4 of 4, no fee, 128 days. This player is actually a former teammate of Andre Dawson while with the Expos. He was a five time All Star, and he was an ERA leader in 1982. And he is Mr. Steve Rogers. There he is on the 75 tops. There's the 78 tops. 83 All Star. Shea Stadium in the back. I know uh, David commented a lot of these photos were taken at uh, Shea Stadium back in the day. T and D. There it is, the old Shea Stadium. There he is. Don Ross Diamond King. I believe that's also 83. There he is. Very cool. There it is. Thank you, Mr. Rogers, so much. Appreciate that. There we are. 11 more Diamond Kings to add to the collection. All right, everyone. I appreciate you watching. I know we ran a little long today. Thank you, as always, for the support. Hope everyone is doing well, and I will see everyone next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.